Hi dear students, our today's topic is shareholders in their meetings. So conducting meetings is a very very important uh, obligation or requirement according to the company's law and in this regard today let us discuss about few of the important types of meetings generally the board conducts. So normally the meetings happen every year which is called as annual general meeting. It is also injured called as AGM and normally this happens during the year ending that is March but however due to any unforeseen it may get delayed. The best example is the current situation where due to this coronavirus most of the business operations are closed and the central government announced that June 31st could be the year ending. So in this scenarios, the companies will conduct the annual general meeting in the month of June rather than in March. But however, in most of the cases, it must and should happen by the end of March, which is called as annual general meeting. And this has been conducted for the shareholders and also attended by the shareholders, directors and chairman of the company. Now let us see more detail into this company meeting. So the company acts provides that every public limited company by the shares or limited by guarantee having the share capital shareholder meeting of shareholders within the six months but not earlier than one month from the date of commencement of business of the company. What which means like uh, the company's act is stating that every company should conduct a meeting within six months of its commencement of the business but not before to it and there must be at least two persons attending this meeting. Now let us go through the kinds of meetings. For your easy understanding here I prepared a few of the important points in this word document with regards to the kinds of meeting. Now the first one is meeting of members. These are the members where the shareholders of the company meet and discuss various matters and they also take certain important resolutions and decisions for the progress of business. Now the first one is statutory meeting. A, a public company limited by shares or guarantee having the share capital is required to hold a statutory meeting within a period of six months. And the next one is annual general meeting. As I told you in the beginning of this session, every company is entitled to organize and conduct a uh, meeting which is called as annual general meeting and it first the annual general meeting within 18 months from the date of its incorporation. Then before six months it just has to organize a common meeting and within 18 months it has to organize an annual general meeting. In this case if the company faces any difficulty that it cannot uh, conduct annual general meeting then it should not exceed the period of three months that what which means three months grace period will be given apart from this 18 months and however this also has to be informed to the ROC that is register of companies regarding this three months grace or the delay in conducting the annual general meeting. The next one is extraordinary general meeting. This is conducted for certain important decisions to be taken by the board of directors on urgent basis or priority basis. This is called extraordinary general meetings. So if the company wants to take any important decisions with regards to the new projects or closure of existing projects, amendment, I mean that is amendment which is not but making any changes in the company rules or organization policies, then it will call upon for the extraordinary general meeting. However, in the articles of association, this has to be informed by the company members. And the next one is class meetings. These are the meetings held by the holders, that is the shareholders of a particular class that we, you all of us know, like there are preferential shareholders, equity shareholders, etc. So for which category the meetings has to be conducted should be organized by the company. And such meetings are normally called when it is proposed to give certain privileges or rights to the particular class of shareholders like if they want to give any dividends or increase or decrease in the dividends or the number of uh, shares that they are allot allotting or cancellation of any particular shares to the different classes of shareholders then during that time 
this class meetings are held by the companies the, the second category is meeting of board of directors and this is for, for the, the exclusively this is meant for the board of directors of the company dear students and the committee of the board apart from that there are also the directors who are working in another companies like two or three companies the board of directors may function and together it is called as a committee and this is also conducted for them by a company and the next one is other meetings particularly this is for debenture holders the meeting is conducted and at such meetings generally the matters relating to the variation in terms of securities or alteration of their rights are discussed like what kind of additional rights has been given to the debenture holders and what are the specific rules that has to be followed the terms and conditions applicable and how many venture holders can hold it what are their privileges what are their rules and restrictions all this will be discussed by the meeting for debenture holders and the next one is meeting of creditors which is very very important dear students because sometimes a company as a running concern or in the event of especially the winding up of a company the creditors meeting has to be conducted so according to section 393 a company may enter into the arrangements with the creditors with the sanction of the court for reconstruction or any arrangement with its creditors so if they want to modify or buy back any loans or if they want to reconstruct their assets and what is their strategy that they are following up during the time of winding up how they are resolving the loans or liabilities etc all these related matters will be discussed in the meeting of creditors and similarly in the case of winding up of a company a meeting of creditors and is held to ascertain the total amount due by the company that means what are all the outstanding the bills outstanding bills to be paid or settled to the creditors and requisites for valid meetings which is important I mean, what is essential for conducting the valid meetings according to company law so it must be properly convened which means communicated like in, on which date at which time the meeting is going to help and one more important dear students the meetings should not be conducted on the national holidays which is listed by the state or central government and the persons calling upon the meeting must be authorized to do so what which means they must be eligible and they also must be the member of the board or the committee of the board and the proper and adequate notice must have been given to all those entitled to attend so prior notices has to be given to the people because they might be traveling or they might have another uh, meetings to be attended so they have to make their time available for which the proper adequate time period notice has to be given to all the members for attending the meeting and the meeting must be legally constituted what which means like the meetings normally the annual general meetings should be conducted at the place where the register office like in articles of association where they mention their registered office address only at that place the meeting has to be conducted for whatever the reasons if that does not happen it has to be informed to ROC and it must be complied with the articles of association according to companies act of 1956 and the business at the meeting must be validly transacted and the meetings must be conducted in accordance with the regulations governing the meetings whatever the procedure that the board of the meeting has to follow by all means it has to be followed if any alterations to be made for conducting the meetings then again this has to be informed to the articles or to the roc so this is all about the meetings and the types of meetings conducted dear students in our next class we will discuss about the proxy quorum agenda minutes of meeting etc please go through this video and try to read sentence by sentence in this word document for your clear understanding thank you very much